Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm up this morning uh, getting ready to create a spray to treat all my plants um, because it looks like there might be a spider infestation or mites. I see little bugs flying around my plants. And so to keep from my plants being killed, I'm gonna go ahead and create the solution, which is a uh, kind of a, what do you say, a homemade remedy that you can use. So I'm actually using uh, a couple of things. Um, this is um, Dr. Bonner's Castile Soap. It's pure, it's unscented. But I'm actually gonna be adding some, I use Young Living uh, scents. So I've been using them for years. And so I'm gonna be using um, peppermint. And I also have a tea tree that I'm using. But then, which is some leftover tea tree from another product, but I have tea tree for uh, Young Living as well. But I'm using some alcohol, which is 70%. And I also have some peroxide that I'm gonna be using. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. The um, recipe or calls for one fourth cup of peppermint oil castile soap. And since I don't have peppermint oil castile soap, I'm gonna actually use my uh, peppermint oil from Young Living. So I'll be using a dropper, which is why I have this here. And then I'm gonna use one fourth cup of uh, tea tree castile soap, and so I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm actually gonna end up using, normally the recipe calls for one fourth of castile soap and one fourth of peppermint, but since I'm gonna be using one type of soap, I'm just gonna go ahead and scent it with the peppermint and then add the tea tree oil. And then it calls for one cup of alcohol, <clears throat> one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, and then two quarts of warm water, which I have filter water that I'm using. So that's why I have it measured here. And I'm going to put it in this container, which actually I have this container labeled neem oil, which is for my plants. But since <clears throat> I actually have neem oil as well, but I'm, since I'm going to create this and see how it works for my plant and see how it comes out. Uh, and we're going to go from there. And I'll be spraying my plants this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, making sure I don't drop anything on this table because I have things open and I'm trying to set up my camera. It's hard for me to use this one. Uh, <clears throat> can't court the stand, so I'm gonna see how it works. And I'm gonna be trying to use up <clears throat> all this solution on my plants. So this is two quarts of water. And I'm going to use Castile soap, which I have right here. You can see this. So this is going to be a half a cup of the soap. So I'm actually taking the um, peppermint oil and I'm gonna add it. Two droplets full. Okay, that should be enough. And I have some leftover tea tree oil. I've been trying to use this for a while. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to use this up. Two droplets. I actually can't see it on camera, hold on. So I'm using this big container. So I'm gonna take, um, oh shoot, I don't even have this thing open. Let me open this up first. Okay, there we go. One cup of alcohol. tablespoon of the hydrogen peroxide, which of course this is a tablespoon over here. I'm 
And that's all we need. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna close all this up and shake it up and get ready to use all my plants this morning. Well, thank you for watching my channel. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'm gonna be plant spraying my plants this morning and probably recording it. Um, and I'll be back soon. Thank you again for, again, checking out my channel for making homemade plant spray to protect your plants from bugs, spider mites, and all those little flying little insects around the plants. I'll show you um, some of the plants that I have located out in my raised garden outside. See you soon. Thank you.